Hello everybody, my name is Richard Rodwell. I am a composer here in Toronto, Canada. I've been working on TV shows for about 25 years and worked on, on albums with bands before that. I'm still currently working on an album right now. Um, to get my uh, full discography of what I've done over the years, you can go to richardrodwell.com. That's R-O-D-W-E-L-L. -L, richardrodwell.com. See what I've been up to over the last little while. All right, so here we are. It's uh, April 16th, 2020, uh, in the middle of quarantine. This quarantine thing is just crazy. So I'm, I'm like, you know what? I want to uh, I want to give back. I want to show people how I do what I do using Logic. Uh, Logic X. Now, um, there's a lot of you that have downloaded Logic. They're like, oh man, what, what do I do? What do I do with this thing? So this is just a crash course on how to get something, something <laughs> going in Logic. Uh, it's going to be very basic, but uh, here we go. Now, the first thing that I am going to do, I'm going to switch over to Logic here. So it says completely blank. Um, now, this is the first time I'm doing this. I'm no logic master i'm no tutorial master so this is really just off the top of my head again i'm just sharing what i know how to do um if you get 10 people in a room together who use logic they're going to show you 10 different ways to use the program um do i know everything about logic no absolutely not there is a ton of stuff with this program i know probably 60 or 70 percent but you know, from what from what I do know, it's uh, it served me pretty well. Um, okay, so first of all, let's get into it. So uh, I'm going to show you right now. Uh, I am using Logic 10.22. It is not the latest version. Um, I just want to stick with this version. I don't want to upgrade my you know my my computer uh, operating system and all that stuff. I am using version 10.95, yep, old school, whatever. I mean, it works for me. So that being said, let's get into it. So when you first open Logic, um, you are going to, what's going on here? Close. Okay, when you first open Logic, um, you're going to get something like this. So I'm just going to go Command N. So you can see there's no windows open right now. Just Command N for new. <clears throat> they give you all of these templates, hip hop, electronic, songwriter, orchestral. You can use those if you want, but I'm just going to start with an empty project. This is just from grassroots straight up, right from the get go um, for you know, the newbies, the newbies just stepping into logic and want to know a little more about it. So here we go. Empty project. So you do empty project. The first thing that comes up is logic is asking you, hey, what do you want to create? What how do you want to start this thing that you want to do? Do you want to lay down some audio tracks? Do you want to, you know, lay down some instruments? So we're going to lay down some instruments. Uh, so you select software ins instrument, of course, and uh, just like that, it comes up. Now, these are some previous presets of some instruments from that I've saved from before. Some weird names, of course. <laughs> um, this little button up here is the library. So forget about all these things that I've created. The library is basically starts from here. Synth leads, pads, bass, strings, keyboards, brass. Um, I don't use any of that stuff. I usually create stuff from scratch. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're just going to click on this little window and get rid of that. Okay. And we are going to create. We're just, we're just going to make a little groove here. Um, and, you know, we let's let's see where it goes. So... We've created our software instrument. Um, the default might be different on different systems. Um, for now, it just came up with the ES2. You can change that. The ES2 is a synthesizer. Um, there are about four or five synthesizers in Logic. So let's just go and see 
what instruments there are. Now, this shows you the instrument. If you double click on it, it brings up the synthesizer. If you click on the little arrow, it shows you the different instruments you can use. Alchemy, which is just a beast of a, a synthesizer. I love this thing. So many, so many different sounds, brass and pads and drums and mallets and all sorts of stuff. It's, it sounds really great. Um, and then there's a few different synths, drums, vocoder, all sorts of stuff. But for now, we're just going to create something very, 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 very basic. All right. So let's go into, let's pull up that, uh, let's pull up that ES2 again. So this is just a, a basic uh, synthesizer. It's just a default sound. Of course, you can go into the default sound and, and you can choose all of these different sounds for this particular synthesizer. But for now, keeping it real basic, we're just going to use the default. So if I click on my USB keyboard, that's the sound. I mean, that is basic. <laughs> but for this tutorial, we just want to show you how to record, how to do something. All right, so I'm just going to mess around here. sounds pretty good okay so before we get into any of that what I'm gonna do uh, you see you see up top here this is sort of what it defaults to as far as uh, how it looks as far as bars and time go I personally I like to do this I like to go to custom and custom brings up again the, the time the sim in the simty so you get the hour what is it? Hours, minutes, seconds, bits, and frames, or something, and then the bars, and then this is your uh, tempo. Okay, I like this particular format because it, it shows you everything. It shows you the time signature. Shows you how long the song is. Uh, you can you know increase that or decrease it if, if you'd like. Um, and we are going to start to uh, just just mess around and, and create something. So what I do want to show you is everything in Logic has, has a command. So you can, if you pull up your key command window, I believe it's option K, it might be something else. You can, you can, you can customize everything with a key command, which is going to save you lots of time in the future. So if you want to, you know, record, you can press R or you can press E, or if you want to, you know, set your left locator. So, hey, I want to start the song from bar nine. You can just do a key command and press nine and then it will start from nine. So these, all of this stuff is, you, you have to go through these and sort of see what they are and what they do. And then you can assign your own key commands so that things can uh, move along a little quicker. But for now, we're going to, uh, usually my key command for the metronome is option M, but I'm going to show you how to get to the metronome. So the metronome is right here in the record tab, metronome settings. Okay. So we want to, when you're, when you first start to record something, you want the metronome always going because you, you need to know how it sounds, right? So let's, well, let's, let's click, click while playing. And we're just going to press a, press the uh, play button here. Okay, 120 BPM, pretty standard, right? So we're gonna take off the, um, excuse the uh, dish, excuse the dishes upstairs. Uh, I'm at home, quarantined like everybody else is, uh, so. Um, okay, so let's do, let's start to record something. So, two, three, four. Pretty basic. Pretty basic. I'm going to turn the microphone down. I don't want you guys to hear the uh, keys clicking. Okay, so this, as you can see, this this should have actually started from bar one. So we're going to just move this thing back here. And we're going to put it to bar one like that. Now, 
this little gray area here that's shaded, see from one to four there. If you if you just play the song, if you just hit spacebar and play it, it's just gonna play it from where it is. But if you click this little yellow, sorry, little gray part, which turns it yellow, now when you click the spacebar, it's gonna play from bar, it's gonna play from bar one. And it's just gonna loop that that part from bar one to bar five, right? So um, I think there's a preference in Logic where you can have, you know, whenever you press the space bar, play from bar one. I don't want to really dig into where that is, but there's a preference there and I've set it up previously. So whenever you hit bar, whenever you hit the space bar and this yellow um, line is, is highlighted, then it will play from bar one. Okay, so that sounds pretty terrible, of course. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to quantize that. Quantizing, uh, if you don't know, quantizing is where the computer uh, snaps certain notes to a grid. So you can have it quantize it to sixteenths or twenty-fourths or sixty-fourths. So we're going to snap it to uh, sixteenths. Now, I personally, over the years, I've liked the quantize of 16Bs. 16B sort of gives it a uh, very nice, very nice uh, uh, feel to it. A um, little bit of a swing. And of course, you know, you can you can use other ones, but uh, just 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 for basic stuff, I usually like uh, 16Bs. So we'll put that to 16Bs. And let's hear what we've got now. Not too bad. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not great, but not too bad for uh, for what we're doing here. Now, um, I like to label things right away. So, um, if you hit the escape key again, you can you can um, configure this stuff in the commands window, the key commands, so that you can bring up the palette using any key. I choose the escape. So, escape. Um, gets rid of it, escape brings it up. And then the T is for text. So basically if you go escape T, then you hover, hover over the part, click it, and now you can put a text. Cause trust me, when you're, you know, into a song, you've got like 30, 40 tracks. You, you want to, you want to make sure that things are labeled properly and even color coded. I mean, we could get into that later, but for now, this is called, uh, we'll just call this chords. All right, pretty simple. There we go. Now, what you can do is you can you can open this up. If you double click on it, it brings up a piano roll. Now, again, I've decided to because I don't like this two screen thing. I don't like you know the stuff here and then the piano roll down here. So I I like to um, just hit a key command. And have the piano roll come up as a separate window again you can configure this yourself so i'm going to get rid of that mine is a and i just press a and then the piano roll comes up as a separate separate thing altogether so here are the notes and as you can see these are all different color coded why are they color coded differently because each of those um, velocities is different. Velocity being, of course, how hard you hit the key. So if I press the key soft, it sounds like that. If I hit it louder, it gets louder, right? So the different velocities are represented by colors. So if I just hover over, I can see that that velocity is 98. I can see that this velocity is 81. And generally, I like to, I like to keep things just as they are. I don't like to use velocities to even out things uh, because then it, it becomes too mechanical. I mean, you want to do it on a kick, of course. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And even sometimes with the kick, I mean, you, you want different velocities on the kick. So if you're going, ooh, 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 that little jumpy kick, you want maybe, maybe a little less of a velocity. So it's not all the same. Um, but that's that. So we got a four bar loop and, uh, 
let's label this. You can just double click on that. Let's just call this synth. Okay, cool. Now what we're going to do is, oh, one thing, when you um, create a new instrument, for some reason, Logic, and I th maybe this is programmable again, but for some reason, it always defaults to read. So these little things here, this is all to do with automation. So, and I'll get in, if you guys want another tutorial on that, just let me know. But automation is where you can program the volumes and pitch, you know, pitch velocities sort of coming in and out and modulations and all this sort of stuff with uh, automation. So when you open up an instrument, it always defaults to read, but it's just best to just keep that off. Just keep it off until you actually really need to get into automation and do some stuff. So one thing I'm going to show you, so this is, this is the arrange window. Okay. Now with logic, you can have a ton of different windows. So first of all, what I'm going to do this little number up here, I'm going to lock this window. So locking it is shift L. See how the, uh, see how the number changes there with the, when you got the little dot, it's locked. So if I resize this window now, or I'm in, you know, the, the, the node editor or something like that. Once I hit one, it brings me back to that window. Okay, this is important because this is the, the, all this stuff will, will save you tons of time. Uh, time is critical when you're, you know, working on projects. So now this is the arrange window. I'm going to also create a mixer window. So I think there's like 99 presets or something, something ridiculous. I don't even think the windows actually end, but if I press two, then that brings up another window. See the little two there? Go back to one, that's one, press two. I got a brand new window. So I'm gonna make this window the mixer window. So I go into window tab and I put open mixer. Aha, uh -huh. so there's our mixer, okay? We've got, we've only created one instrument. There's the stereo out, there's the master, okay? Again, we're gonna lock this window. Lock, little dot. So I go to one, there's one, I go to two, there's two, okay? Now, let's go back to one. And I want to now, while this, while this um, track is highlighted, I'm going to go here. I'm going to create a new track because now I want to I want to add some drums, right? So we go, there's two ways to do it. You can either go new software instrument, which automatically just brings up a new software instrument, or let's delete that. Or you, if you go new tracks, then you have the option for software instrument or an audio track, which is vocals or live guitar or whatever, right? So it's the same thing. Software instrument is what we're going to choose. So we create that. And now you've got a totally different instrument. So here, got to always make sure you're highlighted on the right one. Whatever the record, whenever record is selected, that is what you're hearing. So if I click on this one, you hear that? If I click on this one, I hear the same thing, but it's a different instrument. It's just that it defaults to the ES2. So for this channel, we're going to bring up our drums. Okay. So this sounds like a nice house kind of feel. So I am going to bring up a 909. Now the 909 is in the sampler. This is, this is a sampler. This is, this is like a real sampler. So you can sample stuff off, you know, from the net or from records or whatever you want to do. So let's bring up this sampler. And the sampler has a lot of factory instruments, which sound amazing. So I'm going to click on the instrument. I'm going to go down to factory here. I'm going to go factory. I'm going to go to drums and percussion. Let's go to an electronic kit. And then we're going to bring up the 909. 909, pretty much the standard for for a house and got a nice uh, nice solid kick All 
right? <laughs> Almost sounds like Calypso, but one in the same. All right, so let's um now let's let's record that. Let's let's record um just a straight four and a floor kick to go under those chords. One, two, three, four. There we go. And again, we're going to quantize. So we go in, let's get this library off of here. So we go in uh, quantize and we are going to go, I don't know, 16 Bs. I just love it. So let's. There we go. We've already got a pretty cool groove. Haven't added any hi-hats, haven't added a counter melody, no strings, no piano, no organ, nothing like that. Got a pretty good good groove. Okay, so um, now uh, Logic automatically saves all along, but I just always, out of um, the many years of <laughs> old computers crashing, I just always hit that Command S. Command S, let's save this. Save it right to the desktop. We'll call it a tutorial desktop there we go now it's saved all right so let's uh start to add in some other instruments so or other parts i should say let's label this this is our kick so let's just label that kick now i personally i like to always leave a space between the different parts so to create a space or a new instrument it's just shift and return Bang. So you just highlight, sorry for hitting the mic. Hit, so you just highlight a part, shift, return, and then you've added a space or, you know, another instrument. So we've got our kick. Let's create uh, some hi-hats. So I've created the same instrument. So it's still the, uh, the uh, 909, but now we're going to add in some hi-hats. So let's see what we got. Now that metronome, I don't want that metronome going through the whole thing. I just want it to be go for the first intro. I don't want it going through the actual track. We only needed that metronome when we were initially laying down those chords. So now we're just going to hear it before the beat comes in. So let's put in some hi-hats. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, quantize that, and let's hear what we got. Okay, that little, I, I don't like that. So, shortcut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, I'm going to make it, half because I like the first half so all we're going to do is we, we grab the right right side of the uh, region now it's half now I'm going to click on the region press option while I'm holding the mouse down I'm going to click and drag to copy so now I have copied that region and there you go got the first half copy to the second half now what I can do is I can take that, highlight those, go into my little palette, and there's a really cool thing called a glue tool. So we can just glue those together. So now it's the one region. So we click, so we select the glue tool, and then you just click it, bang. Now it's one region. So now we got our, let's label it. So we got our chords, our kick, and our hi hats. Pretty cool. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's uh, let's go right along. It's just like building a house, right? You start with your foundation. You get your concrete. You pour the concrete in. Then okay, well now we need you know some drywall. And then after we paint it, and then we add flowers. It's the same sort of thing, right? So let's go in here. 
Uh, now we're going to create another instrument. Let's go into that ES2 because it's actually got some pretty cool bass sounds. So we can go here, ES2, just pull it up. And uh, I just discovered this bass sound actually recently. This uh, classic, basic, classic synth bass, but it sounds great. And again, let's take off that reed. And this is our bass sound. Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, so let's um, move this over here. Actually, we don't even need to see it. Uh, let's let's mess around with some uh, some bass patterns. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What happened there? What happened there? <laughs> okay, what happened there? What did I do? What did I do? Okay, I. That should not be. I did something dumb. That was our um. EXS24, the bass, uh, sorry, the drums. So let's just pull that back because that's the drums. Open it up, assign it to the 909. And that should bring us back. That's right, okay. Let's try this again. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is, uh, actually we can do this from the other page as well. So when you're in the mixing page, we'll just let's just label this 909. So in the mixing page, you just double click the name. Okay, bang, bang, double click. Let's call this 909. Now, once, when, this, when the um, strip is highlighted in the mixing page, you can create a new instrument, and then it will create a new instrument right next to that. So we, again, we go track, we go new software instrument, or shift command I, or sorry, control shift I, which actually is uh, a lot quicker. So actually, let's, let's do that. See, it gives the option there, control shift I. So the track is highlighted, we go control shift I, and then bang, there's a new instrument. So this is going to be our bass. And it is the ES2. So let's open the ES2 and synth bass, classic synth bass. Really nice sound. Turn it down a little bit, take that reed off. record that. That sounds pretty good to me. Uh, so let's go. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oops, messed up. Always, always, always. <laughs> it's Murphy's Law. You can have it great in your head as soon as you go to record it. You always mess up. All right, let's do this again. Let's just delete that. We're still on record here. We're, we're recording that instrument, so Let's do it again properly this time. Here we go. Don't like that. Let's do it again. Two, three, four. That's pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to take all of this. I want to make this, instead of four bars now, let's play with eight bars. So I want that second half of the bass to be a little different. So there, bang. And instead of four bars, we got eight. We're going to drag the, the length of the what we're working with over to nine. And I'm actually going to delete that. And let's do it again so I can have a variation. 
two, three, four. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, so let's quantize that. I think that sounds pretty, pretty, pretty good on a uh, just flying off the seat of your pants sort of deal. Um, now, what we're gonna do? Let's um, let's uh, I don't know, let, let's add a little bit of maybe some reverb or maybe some echo on those chords so they don't sound as vanilla as they do right now. So, in your mixing board, you see where it says audio effects. So you can you've got a, like a ton of effects. You got delays and distortion and compressors and all sorts of things. So let's go into uh, delay. Let's just add like maybe a little bit of echo on that. And that's gonna, I know for a fact that's gonna be way too wet. So let's turn the wet down. Let's hear what we got. It's a little loud, let's turn, this, turn those chords down. Pretty cool. So um, let's even smooth those out a little more. So we can maybe add maybe a little reverb on that. Again, I'm using all stock stuff out of Logic. These There's no additional, I mean, I've got additional plugins, but for the tutorial, I'm using what is in the box, what you get when you download the program. So you can just uh, get going right away. Um, you know, a little silver, and platinum verb is a nice little reverb. So again, just a, just a little touch. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Those those hi hats are really loud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that uh, section there, bring up my glue tool. I'm going to glue it. So glue that all together. Then I'm going to go in, and I can just take those hi hats. So you so here are the different sounds, right? You click on the keyboard there. Those are the hi hats right there. So you click on them. See how they light up. So they're all lit up now. And now we can choose our palette, bring the velocity. We can just click on one of them and just drag them all down. Great. Um, let's just keep let's just keep adding them. Let's uh, let's let's add a clap. A little. One, two, three, four. Let's uh, quantize that. Let's label that. Clap. Oh, maybe a rim shot.
before. crazy at the end let's just keep it simple let's get rid of that let's pull that back to five let's copy that select it glue it get our loop let's hear how that sounds okay not quantized so here's here's where real production comes into play so what i'm going to do is because these different um these different letters vary with the amount of swing. So I've got everything else at 16 Bs. These rim shots, I'm gonna put them at 16 C. So give them just a little more swing to the rim shot. Okay, that last note, that, that right before it loops around, I only want that to come in on the last part. So this one here, let's take that out. Oops, I think I took out the wrong one. No, keep that. Let's get rid of that one. This one out as well. So see what I did there? I, I just mute it because sometimes you just want to mute it just to hear how it sounds. So I just clicked it. I hit M for mute, just to hear it. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I really don't want it. Get rid of it for sure. And then we got our pattern. And there we go. We've got a pretty solid groove happening. And I mean, you could just keep layering and layering and layering, which uh, I think I'm gonna do, because I'm in the mood. So let's go instrument four, create a new instrument. Let's, uh, with this instrument, let's uh, let's go into our, the ESX 24. Just maybe bring up some, uh, Hmm. <laughs> you know what? Nah. Let's bring up Alchemy. Alchemy's got some great sounds. Pads. I'm, I mean, there's a ton of stuff here. Just a ton of stuff, and they all sound great. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm feeling that. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Yeah. 
want that to be the end. Bah, 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 bah. Okay, goodbye. Bah, 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 bah. It's that last one. Bah, 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 bah. Bah, 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 bah. Now, that last note, I can just click and hold and, and put push the option key, click and hold an option, and drag it up. Ah. Cool. Uh, let's quantize that, see what we got. It's a sounding all right. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, you can go and add like a lead. You know, for the chorus. Um, and and then that's, that's pretty much how you do it. I mean, this is how you do it in Logic. And then as far as arranging goes, um, let's just make this sound really long. So as far as arranging goes, you know, just select all, copy, drag, copy, drag, you know, and then now this is where you, the arrangement comes in where you can just start to, start to uh, pick out different pieces. So, you know, maybe we, maybe we, maybe we start, start off the, um, you know, we start off the song with just the, just the kick and the bass, you know, maybe not even the claps. Yeah, maybe add in the hi-hats after that. Let's split these hi-hats, let's do a split. So this is our scissors tool. So we can highlight a part, go into our palette and go, um, that for the scissors so we can cut it. So let's cut it right in half there. Then we can move that over, say four bars to there. What do you guys think? I think this is sounding great. Um, yeah, da, 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 na, 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 na. yeah. Let's yeah. Why not? So let's um, create a couple more things here, and uh, yeah, just do some sort of um, let's open up Alchemy again. So do, 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 instrument five, instrument five, Alchemy. Oops, no, oh, that's the ES2. Let's alchemy. And this is going to be our lead, just I don't know, some sort of lead counter melody on top. Uh, let's label that lead. Take the read off. I don't know, let's go into some leads here. <laughs> it's just tons, tons, tons. Oops, that's kind of kind of loud. Let's take that down. Uh, oh, glide. Maybe something. Uh, something a little more characteristic. Not bad. 
classic techno lead. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Okay, so now this is what I'm telling you about on your your lo your locators, right? So I want that I want that um, lead to come in at bar 25. So again, using my key commands, which I've set up previously, I just go uh, option left bracket. I mean, you can, any key combination works. So this is my set, my left locator. So I want things to start recording at 25. Okay. And as you can see, the yellow line moves as well. So let's do some sort of lead uh, coming in at 25. Horrible. Let's do it again. Okay, not bad. Let's hear it. go that's pretty much a song copy paste you know maybe go back to the intro take out the bass or take out the kick and that is it that is how you create a groove using logic x i know people are going to be like oh man why do oh mate why didn't you do this oh you know you could have done this uh, well yeah i mean but for the for this, this is just again a basic tutorial how i do things is different than how the next guy would and the next guy would do it totally different than the next guy so again this is uh just a, a, a rough tutorial to show you guys what can be done with logic it is an immensely 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 powerful program um so that's it feel free to reach out to me richardrodwell.com you can see some of the stuff that I've done over the uh, past few years. You can reach out to me via email there. If you have any questions, leave comments uh, on YouTube. I'll be willing to help if you guys have any questions or if you want me to do further tutorials on anything, let me know. All right. Cheers.